All right, example A, find the area of the figure. So here we have kind of a funky shaped figure. If you look at it sideways, it looks a little like somebody's face. We have a little eye up here, and we got a little nose going on here. We got a, yeah, it looks like what's something I'd draw, basically. Anyway, um, back on track. So we need to find the area of this figure. What we want to do is split this figure up into shapes that we recognize. I don't know how to find the area of this figure. I really don't. But I do know how to figure out the area of triangles and rectangles. That's easy. So if we sort of imagine this figure as a triangle up here, on top, and then a rectangle down here on the bottom, like this, those two things I could find the areas of, and then I have one more triangle down here that I could just sort of take away from the area of my rectangle because I could just calculate that separately, right? Well, if that's the case, then I just need to fill in the missing dimensions for the shapes that I have so I can calculate them. Well, here I know that it's 6 units from this corner to this corner, but it's 15 units all the way across the figure from this corner clear over to here, right? So that means that if it's 6 units here, it must be 9 units here. So that fills in that missing bit. And then if I know that it's 9 units from top to bottom, that means it's 9 units from here down to here. So if it's only 6 units to this corner, that means that our little end of our imagined triangle here must be 3 units. And we already know that the bottom of that triangle is six units, right? So I think we have all of our missing sites that we can get. We'll just have to calculate this one here. And we'll have to calculate this one here so that we can find the area of the figure, right? Actually, we may not even need to. If we take a look at this triangle up here, this triangle then represents, looks a little like this if I were to rotate it. We actually have all the information we need to calculate that area right now. That one's nine by six. So our base is 6, and our height is 9. So we can do 6 times 9 is 54, and half of 54 is 27. So 9 times 6 over 2 is 27. Remember, that's base times height over 2 to find the area of a triangle, right? And then our rectangle down here on the bottom, that's easy. That's just 9 times 15. So the area of the rectangle is base times height. Here's our height. Here's our base. So we have 9 times 15. 9 times 10 is 90. Half of that's 45. So we have 135. Yeah? And then finally, we have our little triangle down here in the bottom right-hand corner that we need to take away from that 135 because 135 included that corner we don't really own. So this one here, we got 1 half base times height again because we have half of 6. Let's see if we can do, let's draw this one over here. Dink. A little right angle triangle over here. A little like this. So six units and three units. So we have six times three over two. So I'm going to go ahead and divide the six by two right away. So I end up with just three times three, or nine. So our triangle is 27 units, and our rectangle is 135 minus nine, or 126 units. So the whole figure altogether then would be 27 plus 126, or 153. And that's the area of the entire figure. Cool. All right, let's take a look at example B. And I actually put examples B and C together uh, in your text. This is two different questions. First, um, you're asked to find the individual shapes in the overall figure, which are sort of already kind of sketched around in here for you, and then find the areas of those shapes. And then example C asks you to just add those areas up. So I just kind of put them together into one question here. We'll find the areas and then add them up for example C all at the same time. So our original figure is this dark line around the outside. Um, let me just go around and highlight it in green here. The original figure is all these solid lines out here, like so. Like this it looks very much like the first one we had, that little sort of eagle head or messed up face or something. Yeah. So to break this thing up into individual shapes, there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, but we're asked specifically to divide it into two rectangles and one triangle. 
So what we need to do then is figure out a way to break this into two rectangles. Well, you can see their dashed line here suggests that we're going to have a break here. That makes this a rectangle over here. And then if we had another break here, we'd have another rectangle down over here with a corner taken out of it, and then a triangle up here on top, which was the other shape that was specifically requested. So let's go ahead and fill in the dimensions that we have. We have nine going down this way, just for description here. And we have 15 going across this way. And then this rectangle here, this is 9 plus 12, or 21, going clear up and down, and 15 going across. And since we're 21 from here to here, we're 21 from here to here as well. So first rectangle here, area equals base times height. So that's area equals 21 times 24. So 20 times 24 would be twice 240, so 480, plus one more 24 would be 514, no, 504, right? 504, let's check my math. Clear, 21 times 24, 504 it is, good. It was good to keep my brain working when I can. So this is 504 units here. And then this rectangle over here was 21 by 15. So we have uh, 20 or 21 times 10 would be 210. Half of that's 105. So we have 210 plus 105, or 315 units. And if we show that calculation, it's 21 times 15 gives us that 315 units for this rectangle here. And then our triangle up here, we have 15. And you know what? I think that 9, I don't think that is that slant height. I think it's supposed to be from here to here. So that makes things easier, too, because our triangle is area is 1 half base times height. So we'd have 1 half of 9 times 15. And 9 times 15 is 90, uh, 135, half of 135. Yes, I should build that one in my head, but I'm not going to. 135 divided by 2 equals 67 and a half. So 67 and a half would be the area of our triangle right here. So we have one shape, 504, plus another shape, 315, plus our third shape, 67 and a half. Five, oops, clear, 504, plus 315, plus 67.5, 886.50, 886.5, and then we just need to subtract our little triangle down here, 1 half base times height, so 7.5 by 12, minus 7, oops, let's do that in parentheses. 886.5 minus 7.5 times 12 equals 796.50. So our overall shape, minus 7.5 times 12, our overall shape then is 796.5 square units. The area of this shape plus the area of this shape plus the area of this shape minus the area of this shape down here. All right, there we go.